Good morning, everybody. My name is Carla, and you have reached my Flosstube channel, Carla Being Crafty, where I talk about mostly craft stitch, but also other crafts that I do, and a little bit of life thrown in. Um, this is my floss tube number 70. We're getting up there in the numbers. And today is Sunday. It is November 22nd. It is the last weekend before Thanksgiving. And um, I am so happy to be with you guys here today. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see and want to like and subscribe and all the good stuff and come visit every week with me. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming by and supporting my channel and just making everything so nice for me to do floss tube. Um, you guys are making the difference in my life. You're adding that little bit of sparkle. Um, you know, it's, it, it feels so good to feel like I have global friends out there who care just a little bit about me and what I'm doing and want to hear what I have to say. Um, so yeah, I just, I love it. Um, I'm so glad that I started this journey like about 18 months ago and um, you guys are making it all worthwhile. You're making it worthwhile to get up early on Sundays to do my videos every week and to think of new things to do for content and um, I just really appreciate it. I want to say thank you to everybody who has so far sent me a package for my big ask, my Hanukkah ask. Um, I've gotten about 10 or so, so far, and um, it just I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled, you guys. Um, I am looking forward to um, Hanukkah and the holidays in a way that I haven't in a really long time, and a lot of that just has to do with the fact that I'm going to get to open these gifts from people who... Um, who care about me and who um, are excited to participate in helping make my little video series that I'm going to be doing next month and um, yeah so I'm really excited and I hope that I hope that I do you justice and that you enjoy watching me um, celebrate Hanukkah a little bit so I just want to say thank you to everybody that sent me something so far um, and everybody who is sending me good wishes and yeah, I just, the whole thing is just making me feel really great. Um, and I've gotten packages, I got a package from Israel, um, which is funny because the person who sent it to me, she said she was sending me a package. I had no idea she lived in Israel and when I got it, it was just such a little thrill. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited about everything that's coming up. So um, thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, I guess that's all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, today, as I said, is the last weekend before Thanksgiving. Um, I have continued to, except for going to work, I've been at home for two weeks, or it will be two weeks on Tuesday, um, since I had to go and take my notary class, or my notary test, actually. I have been kind of uh, self-isolating, except, of course, as I said, I go to work. Um, and uh, just to make me feel a little bit um, more comfortable with going over and staying with my brother's family. Um, their, their family pretty much is, is at home as well. My brother does go out to run errands occasionally, shopping and such, and you know, of course, fully masked. And um, my niece is like the only other one who goes out into the world. Uh, she does do chair practice, which they're also doing socially distanced and with masks and everything. So between him, I mean, he's he, luckily my brother's able to work from home and my sister-in-law works from home anyway. Um, but uh, those are the only out in the world things that any of us are doing. <laughs> Me going to work, my brother going to the store, grocery store, etc. And Reagan going to cheer. And then other than that, we're all at home um, making sure that we're keeping the germs at bay so it's okay for for me to come over for Thanksgiving. Um, I heard somebody use the term pod that um, they were talking about getting together with a small group, one or two people, I guess other single friends, who she said they aren't in the same household but they're in a pod. And I guess I kind of feel like that's how it is with my brother is I'm not technically in their household, but I'm like in their pod and um, 
that's why I think we all feel comfortable with with me getting together with them um, but other than that <laughs> unfortunately I'm not seeing my mom yet um, they did say that they're working on some kind of a uh, visitation method they're going to build some kind of an outdoor um, acrylic enclosed something so you can have short visits so we'll see what happens I mean this seems like a really weird time for them to decide all of a sudden to open it up but we'll see um, other than that I'm really looking forward to Thanksgiving just forgetting to spend the time with my family and just because having uh, a few extra days off work sounds wonderful and um, and yeah I'm just yeah I'm just looking forward to it it, it it's gonna be it's gonna be a different year because of how everybody is having to um, tone down or small small and fi. What, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, reduce the size of their gatherings, um, us included. And um, but I'm still really looking forward to it. Um, I love Thanksgiving food, and I love I just I've always loved Thanksgiving. I spent. The first uh, 10 years of my adult career type life in retail, retail management. So um, for 10 years, like Thanksgiving was just a tiny break in the midst of a huge busy season and the beginning of like a ridiculous busy season. And um, but I've always loved Thanksgiving and now I love it even more when I don't have to do retail. Actually, it was funny when I, I was doing retail, my brother did retail for a while too. Um, and we, when we both quit that, <laughs> I remember for a couple of years we would actually go to the mall on Christmas Eve because we didn't have to be there. And we didn't actually shop, we just walked around and kind of like reveled in the fact that we weren't part of the madness, that we just went to observe it. Um, but yeah, working retail is, is tough. Um, I mean, this year I'm sure it's crazy with all of the restriction and everything, but I don't think I ever got through a holiday season without myself or one of my employees completely breaking down in tears because of how awful a, a customer was. I worked in jewelry. Um, wasn't super high end. It was lower end jewelry, but um, an ear piercing, which is crazy in the mall at Christmas time. Um, but yeah, as a retail manager, I usually would have at least like a 20 day period where I didn't have a day off um, during the holiday season. And um, I, you know, I did this in my 20s and it was exciting and, and everything at that time. I don't think it's something that I could do now. But anyway, um, all right, let's get on to, you know, things I worked on this week. Um, I don't, I was not at all as prolific as I was last week as far as the number of whips I worked on and everything. So I don't have quite as much to show you as far as that goes. Um, but before we get into like the stitching, I did do a couple of things, uh, I think actually I did it Friday, Friday night when I was on my weekly Zoom call with my friends. Um, I sometimes stitch on those calls and, on something that's kind of easy to pay attention to, but actually this week, um, I had this little chore that I wanted to do anyway, so I thought it was a good time. So, um, I've talked to you guys about my seasonal tree and, um, next weekend after I get back from Thanksgiving then I'm going to go ahead and switch it over and take off all the fall the fall leaves and the little pumpkins and all the orange and I'm gonna switch over my little tree to being blue and white and silver for December and January sort of Hanukkah winter um, themed so I don't really have any stitching yet to put on the tree for for that season um, I have some of the Mill Hill ornament type things that I've ordered, I've shown you guys, that will fit into that season. And maybe I'll start one of them to see if I can possibly get it done before um, before that time period. But realistically, I may not. So, um, But I did still want to have stuff to put on the tree. So um, I went ahead and put together a few things. So I made these little strings. Oop. That one just bit the dust. Sorry about the noise. You know, I never say sorry for the crinkles. Maybe I should. Um, I don't really think about it. Crinkles don't bother me, so I just don't think about it. I know people who listen on earphones, I think that's when it gets bad because they get louder. 
than everything else but um, in general if it bothers you I'm sorry but okay so I made these little strings I had these little star scatter I guess and so I just took a little bit of a actually it's a rainbow gallery sparkly thing and I just strung strung these things on and I made like eight of them because those, those will hang on the tree really nice and just add that little sparkle and shine that I'm trying to get and then I showed you guys back when this whole thing became an idea for me that I bought um, a whole bag of multicolored pom-poms so I pulled out the blue and the white ones so there's three different blue and whites and I have my um, set of these little, they're like safety pins, but I think they're actually stitch markers are the ones with the little um, rounded part at the top. So I just put the blue and the white and the blue and the white pom-poms on these little pins so that I will be able to hang them. Just as a side note, these little these little pom pom things are really good cat toys too. But Kira is not the kind of cat that plays with stuff very often. But if I pick up one of these and I throw it across the room, he will go chase it and bat it around for like a minute. So every so often they're a good distraction for him. So now there's I think about four of these rolling around on my floor. Oh, and they're shedding already. So that's going to show me that these things are going to shed. But Anyway, so I got the blue and the white ones done, and then I'll be able to use, I'll use these blue and the dark blue and white again in like June and July, along with red ones, which I will put together for February, so I'll have red and pink in February, and then I'll be able to use the red, white, and blue, you know. So I'll be able to use them in different mixes and matches on my tree for the different seasons. I did those and then I also did these things which I'm not sure I even really like them that much but in the scatter there was this little teeny scatter that didn't have holes or anything and I was trying to figure out something to do with them so I just basically took little pieces of the sticky back felt and cut them out and then the first couple I did I thought it would be nice to just do random and just dip the sticky back felt in these little sequiny things but that looked kind of messy I'm dropping everything so then I actually did it where I placed them a little bit more so again they're just gonna add the nice little bit of sparkle and shine that I want on my my little seasonal tree and That was just a fun little thing I did, and um, we'll see next weekend if my tree looks kind of cute dressed up for uh, December and January. Okay, so uh, projects now. I did have an FFO, which you guys won't be like surprised about at all because I showed you, I believe I showed you this finish. Did I show it to you finish last week? But it's... Tatsuma Street Leo and I put it in one of these these are kind of like rubberized hoops so this part is kind of stretchy and then and then I just put black felt on the back and it's sticky back felt um, it's not sticking that great so um, I may have to go back in and like hot glue or something but I just I think this came out so great it kind of made me fall in love with Satsuma Street even more you know I was like I loved it to look at but now I really enjoyed stitching this so I have the Hanukkah pattern that I bought which I don't think I'm gonna work on this year but um, definitely makes me want to put more Satsuma Street in my to be stitched pile but this one is really cute so that's gonna get hung up now that I've shown it to you Okay, new starts this week. 
um, I have talked to you guys about the gift I have planned for my niece Reagan's birthday. Um, her birthday, I believe, is the 28th of December. And we are leaving for our vacation on the 27th. We're actually going to leave on the 28th on her birthday. But um, she asked if we could go a day early because she wanted to be at the cabin on her birthday. Um, so we're hoping for snow. <laughs> the weather here in Southern California has been cooler um, but nice. Um, it's probably in the mid-70s basically um, during the day. It goes down into the, like the mid-40s at night. Um, but we're hoping, we're all hoping that... Um, like Arrowhead gets some snow before before Christmas because um, the kids really want to see snow so anyway um, I had showed you guys the um, the plans I had for the gift I'm gonna do for Reagan um, I'm doing two of the um, Shannon Christine mermaids and I'm going to put them on the back of sand dollars and then I have this really cool piece of driftwood that has five hooks and I'm going to hang the sand dollars and then I have three starfish and I'm going to make this wall hanging. So I'm, the two that I picked, and of course I'm changing colors because that's how I do things, right? Um, the two I picked were this one and this one. And I picked these two because I liked kind of how they curved together, if that makes any sense. Um, so this one I got done except for now the beading has to be, has to happen. Okay. So she is done except for the pearls, the beads, the beads that go on her tail and stuff. And then she's got bead flowers and then the pearl string that goes all over. And then I just started this one last night, which doesn't look like anything yet. But, so this one I changed it to having like a pink tail with the green hair. And this one's going to have like an orangey tail with blue hair. So I worked on this actually like three, two or three evenings last week. Just because since I have a deadline on it. Um, I definitely want to make sure I get that done. Oops, that's the wrong one. I just put this in. Okay, and because I was working on that one a lot, um, the other things that I did were just a little touches that I, I did just a few minutes or whatever. I worked a little bit, teeny bit, on um, Crossbin Collection, um, First Encounter, but I call it Chickadees. And um, I don't even know if I did enough to have a noticeable difference for you guys. I did the, um, the back stitch on this chest there. And I extended the branch a little bit to start working on the second um, chickadee. So this is turning out really cute. And actually, I'm I'm enjoying working on it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, it's not, I guess, necessarily my style. Um, I tend to go for things that are a little bit more colorful rather than the natural colors and stuff. Um, and I'm doing it as a gift, so you know I was kind of like, well, I'm prepared to do it because it's for somebody else, um, and I care about them, so you know I'll sacrifice myself. But actually, I'm really enjoying it because it's a super cute pattern, and um, I'm enjoying seeing them come to life. So even though I'm not working with colors that that make me super excited, I'm getting super excited about the image. So um, yeah, so it's a win-win. Um, let's see. Oh, I worked on Black Grace again a little bit. Um, I pulled this out last week or two weeks ago when I was, I was working on it because I was taking that class. And so I still had it out, which is probably a good thing I need to leave it out because it was sitting here and I had a night where I wasn't really feeling that great. And, um, 
So I didn't feel like stitching. I kind of was headachey, but I was able to work on this. And let's see. Um, so I did actually a lot more down in here and more of the black cat. So I'm getting like really close to the, the bottom now, which of course makes me want to work on it more and get it done. I just, I love the way this feels. The yarns are just really soft and I cannot wait until I have this done and this is like a pillow. Because I'll actually use a pillow like this. You know, I'll, I'll stick my head on it and um, I just really like it. And then it has a companion that I showed you, Black Grace 2, which is like basically the same kind of cat. The stripes are slightly different colors. Um... So I will probably start that pretty soon after I finish this one. Oops, just with the idea. Oh, sorry, of um, having both of them. Okay, it's not gonna go in easily. And then the last thing I worked on this week, again, had a night where I just didn't feel like stitching, so I pulled out this roses diamond painting banner and got quite a bit more done on that <coughs> excuse me I'm almost at the end because I'm all all the way up to here with my diamond painting so all that's left is this little bit so again that makes me spurn on spurred on to get this finished I haven't worked on my um, Halloween cat one in a while, but this one's a little bit easier because it's round. So yeah. Can you see the sparkle? So, and I did try out actually using the. Um, the new crayons, the pretty placers, and I have I have some thoughts about it. It definitely works much better with the round as opposed to the square diamonds. Um, I've had I've seen some people who were talking about them. And I had it sitting on my table where it up. So this is one of the pretty placers that I've shown you. Um, I've seen some people talk about them and they're like, and they're never going to like, you know, you can sharpen them, but you don't need to because it's like you never use it up. I'm using it. I mean, like it's, it's wearing off. So I don't know if it's because I press hard or whatever. Um, I've basically been able to kind of like redo the point either with my fingers. I've scraped a little bit to kind of get it back into a point. Um, it works really well. I'm finding that it is leaving a little bit of residue more than like the regular wax. So I will have to clean my diamonds when it's done with a toothbrush, maybe a little bit more intently than I normally would. Um, so I'm kind of like, I like it, and that. But then if it gets, if it start get, if it starts getting really soft, then it gets a little bit more difficult to use, and um, it's it's harder to use if you have diamonds that are in between like if they're surrounded by other diamonds it doesn't seem to like release as easily and then you have to press hard which kind of smushes the, the tip um i don't know if it's just, it's because if i push hard if that's part of the problem i don't know if it's because the kit that i'm using is not that you know high of a quality so maybe the glue isn't as strong as other things but in general, I really like these, and they were really good when I was doing stuff with like the sequins and the scatter. I really like them for other crafting purposes to pick up these little bits of things that are really hard to pick up normally. So I do not regret getting these at all, and I do have a couple more to show you. Um, so if you do diamond painting, if you do stuff with little sequiny type things, like you know little metallic bits that 
often you need to pick up or even beads these would work really well if you're doing beading and you need to pick them up off a surface um, I think that they're a good investment um, I don't know that I'm gonna get any more I mean I have five now I got three more um, so for a while I don't think I need any more I mean they're fun with the scents and everything um, but I don't think that they're going to completely replace my regular drill pens that I use. Um, normally I use, I use uh, these. Um, I have two of these. A pink one, which actually, this is actually for, supposed to be for square. Um, the little tip is square. It doesn't really matter. Um, I like these because they're a little bit thicker and I like the weight in my hand. Um, but yeah, I don't think that it's gonna re that the crayons are gonna completely replace what I normally use. But I did enjoy using it, so I'll continue to try on, as I do diamond painting a little bit. Okay, so that was all of my whips this week. So on to purchases and haul and that kind of thing. I'm really contemplating next year trying to do. I don't know if I'm going to do the formal stitch from stash, um, you know, the, the group basically because I'm really, really bad about sending in my info. And if it's something I have to, you know, take photos and send in my info and whatever, I, I'm just, I'm going to fall off of that. Um, but I want to try and maybe do kind of a stitch from stash thing and maybe make my own low budget of maybe $20 a month or something and just in my own notebook see if I can um, do that. Um, all that being said, I did put in an order this week with one to three stitch, but, um, and I think that this is what I need to do. It's like if I'm doing a project and I need specific flosses for it, then that would be an okay purchase, but I need to stop just randomly getting stuff because I'm bored and want to shop. That's basically it. But anyway, so I was working on the thing for Reagan, and then I realized, well, Logan's birthday is the following month. And I got to say, he's 12 going on 13. He is like the hardest kid to shop for. His mom says the same thing. I mean, getting Hanukkah presents and stuff for him. She was having a hard time just because he's just... I don't know, he's hard to shop for. The stuff that he really, really wants is really, really expensive. So that's not going to happen uh, with me anyway. And, um, yeah, I'm not getting him a, like, $300 game because, nope, can't do it. You know, can't do it for him myself, so I can't do it for him. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's really hard to shop for. But I do know that he loves Star Wars and Marvel and stuff, but he's really into Star Wars right now and The Mandalorian and his bedding and stuff in his room is all uh, Baby Yoda themed. So I found this pattern on Etsy. I really like this one. Um, who is this by? Um, Let's Make Crafts is the, the shop. Um, I really like this one because um, it looks, it's a little bit more detailed, it's still not huge, but it's a little bit more detailed and it just, I, I don't know, I just thought it was really adorable and I think it will go really well with the stuff that he has. You know, a 12 or 13 year old boy may not appreciate getting a cross stitch, but I think that he is uh, sensitive enough to appreciate all the work that I'm going to put into it for him and it does go with all of his stuff so I think he'll enjoy having it on his wall. Um, you know, it may not be as exciting as getting a video game, but I think that he will appreciate it. And I think it's something that it will be nice for him to have as he gets older, as a remembrance of something that I did for him. And it will be, you know, when I finish that, then all of the kids will have gotten something stitched for me this year, which, you know, I think is kind of cool. So anyway, so I got this, and then I went through to kit it up. And with something like this, I don't tend to want to change colors. Um, I could, but it, it's, it's too much of a hassle. It's easier just to use the colors that the designer sets. So, um, so yeah, I pulled the colors and I was missing like six. 
So I decided, yes, I did need to do a one, two, three stitch order to get those six uh, DMC flosses. Um, here's the other one. So obviously it's a lot of green and brown. And, um, and I'm missing six of the colors. And, um, and then I'm trying to just, I was trying to decide what, uh, fabric to do it on. And, um, I, you know, and I know I say that, that I usually dye my own fabric. If, if I want something special, I'll just dye it myself. And I contemplated doing that, but honestly, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> um, I kind of wanted to do it on a 14 count Ada, um, just because I think it'll go faster. And I didn't want it to be super tiny and I didn't want it to be, um, I want it to be like an easy, uh, easy stitch. And for me working on 14 count Ada is pretty easy. It's just, if I'm not feeling like I want to concentrate, if I'm not feeling like I want to make my eyes focus as much, 14 count Ada is a lot, is a lot better. Um, so I went through my 14 counts or I went through my, my fabric and I didn't really have I had one that I thought would be perfect that I've used for something else, so I just had a scrap left. So that didn't work. And then I'm trying to think, like, what did I use that for? And I still can't remember what I used it for. So I don't know. Um, but I did have this uh, uh, under the sea fabric. It's called Angelic. Um, and it's an opal, which is part of why I liked it, because I thought that the opals, the opal would look really good for um, the Baby Yoda. But, and I thought, and actually if I was making the Baby Yoda for a girl, I would have no problem with using this because it's a really pretty fabric and it has the kind of modeling that I think would look really well um, with this, this chart. I didn't want it on a plain white. I want something, some kind of background. Um, but I'm not sure about this because it's a lavender. And... Um, so when I, I had to order the six flosses from 123 Stitch, um, and I went and looked at the fabrics that were on sale, and since I don't need a big piece, I could get like the 8 by 12 pieces, which are the least expensive. So I found three uh, Picture This Plus fabrics that were on sale that were like $4 each or something, or three, I think they were all between 3 and $4. Um, and I, so I got three that are a little bit more flashy um that I thought might work so when I get the order then I'll make the decision and get to start I really wanted to start it this week which I could have done without all the flosses I still could have started it but I can't start it if I don't know what fabric I'm using right so anyway so I should get that this week because I think that they've already sent it and then I will be able to show you what I picked So, other haul type stuff. Oops. Um, I believe I told you I had ordered um, from eBay. I had ordered a lot of uh, five cross stitch kits, uh, some of which are going to go in my giveaway for uh, Hanukkah. Um, and I ordered another two Christmas patterns, which I haven't gotten yet, or if I did, they're in my mailbox and I haven't got, uh, you know, gotten them out of the mailbox yet. Um, so these five kits came with a little thank you and a little bag of like Halloween buttons, um, which are cute. So there's like a bat in there. That one I really like. There's a couple that say trick or treat. What is this big one? Oh, I think this says boo. But yeah, so that was kind of a little extra fun thing that went in there, and I'm sure that those will work for something that I want to decorate. So I got these five dimensions kits. They're all full kits, but three of them have been opened, and those are the three actually that I'm pretty much planning on keeping. Um, so I got this butterflies, and these are needlepoint. This one, Hydrangea, which I really like. This one might be part of the giveaway. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then this butterfly, 
I really like the two butterflies, so I'm definitely keeping those. But I might um, make the hydrangea part of the giveaway. And then these two definitely will be part of the giveaway. There's this, it says baby hugs, but really it, it's a chart of all of the initials. So basically you can do any initial and it comes with beads and the, the floss and everything. I thought that was kind of cute. And then this one's really cute. Life is sweet. So those last two definitely will be part of my giveaway. Um, so I, I don't know. I think I'm going to have more than eight kits to give away. So I might do more than um, one on a couple of the days, maybe as we get <laughs> to the last days of Hanukkah, or maybe the first day and the last day or something like that. Um, what I'm planning on doing is, um, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it next week. I think maybe next week I'll show you guys the kits I'm giving away, um, but then it's gonna be the following week, which will be right before Hanukkah starts. Actually, no, no, it'll be next week because I want to give you guys the time to put your names in. So I'll be showing you what I'm giving away next week. And then I'm going to ask you to um, say whatever keywords um, and you'll have like a week and a half to do that. And then um, I'll probably just do the random comment generator for all of the nights, you know, and then just announce them in the daily videos. That makes sense. But anyway, so um, I'll show you guys all of them. I'll give you the keywords. Um, I was thinking I would just like pull out a kit and pull out a name and do it that way. But I, I thought about it and I realized like, you know, I don't want to give away a kit to somebody that really doesn't like that kit. Um, so I think that I do want to give you guys the opportunity to put your names and the keywords of the ones that you actually would like to get. Um, cause there's no point in, in somebody winning something that they don't like. Um, yeah. So, I mean, if you like everything, then you can just put in all the keywords. And if you only like one thing and only want to be entered in the drawing for that particular one, then you can do it that way. So, I just thought that that would make it a little bit better so everybody gets what they want or has the opportunity to get what they want. Okay. And then the last couple things that I got this week. Well, I didn't get them this week. They arrived this week. Um... As I said, I got a couple more pretty placers. Um, I I picked ones that, uh, you know, I hit a day when they were available. Again, it's, you kind of have to keep on top of it. Um, and I think she had like seven or eight different scents available. And I just picked the three that sounded the best to me. Um, one is fresh cranberries and it's a red crayon. Um, there's like a purple crayon that's, um, blackberry and fig. And then this blue one, which is fresh baby powder uh, or powder fresh, powder fresh. And they all smell really nice. This reminds me of something in the baby powder one. I mean, it does kind of smell like baby powder, but it smells like, it smells like a perfume like a kid's perfume from my childhood. I don't know if you guys are my age, you may remember there always used to be little kits, especially at the holidays that were like kids makeup. And I mean, I don't even know if they still have stuff like that now. I think now it's like at Claire's and it's in between kids makeup and real makeup. But they used to have these like definite like kids things and this smell, all of that stuff smelled like this. <laughs> so anyway, so these are, these are fun. Then I got, um, I told you, I believe last week that I participated in the, um, the live sale on Michelle Bendy Stitchy's channel for, um, Bags Plus, and I got one little flip, um, I'd never done that before, and it was really fun, and I can see how people can kind of get into the, the mindset of just trying to get everything. Um, I knew I only wanted to get like one at the most two because I just didn't want to spend the money. Um, but when this one came up, I'm like, that's the one I want to try for. And I did get it. So it's the catacorn. I thought it's, you know, it's cute. There was one other that, um, it had been shown in like a bigger, a bigger size. 
and it was kind of just like a metallic dots but it was so pretty and so I was waiting the whole time that they were doing the flips for that fabric to come up but it didn't but this one came up and I had seen this one in a bigger size too and I'm like if that comes up then I'm gonna put my name in that one and I got it and then Michelle sent a cute little note and she had said she was getting she got a big um, somebody gave her a bunch of um, Mosel uh, threads and she said she was gonna stick a thread in everybody's and she was true to her word and this is the one she sent me does it have a name on it it says thing it's really pretty I mean it's a really interesting combo of the light blue and peach and kind of mauvey brown um, but yeah I really like it um, I don't bobinate my threads um, but I have this little one that somebody sent me, this really tiny one, and I have used this for small projects. Um, that I use, I have this in my um, my ink circles. So I was basically using just two colors. So I put one of the the colors in the back, and then I had the other color. Um, <clears throat> I had cut off pieces and just kind of wrapped them and put them in there. So I found that that works really well, and for smaller projects, um, but they're so cute. So I don't know. Um, you know, I think it's great if you do bobinate, but I don't. I don't. I don't bobinate. I don't intend to bobinate at all. I don't like the way um, bobinated threads are kind of curled when you take them off the bobbin. And yeah, to me, that's not a great way to store them for me. But anyway, this one's so cute. So I'm very happy with that purchase. And then I had a small order from 123 Stitch. Now this order, I put this in um, partly because I was feeling, oh, before that, let me show you these. Um, I told you I was like, I discovered Laurel Birch and got the bag that I showed you last week and I was so excited so I went and got two on eBay I got these two bags and I thought I would just use them as like makeup bags or organizing type bags in my purse my new Laurel Birch purse but they came in and they're such a good size that I could actually use them for small projects so I haven't totally decided yet if I will use them as a small project bag or if I will just put makeup or whatever and put them in my purse. But I did get these two. So I got two of them for $15 on eBay. And I love them. I don't know which one I, and these are totally like the, the Mill Hill. Okay, so back to my one, two, three stitch order that I the small order that I put in and I told you guys before now this this project has been put away um, it'll come out probably in July June July but this is my um, my white filigree pumpkin that I found this pattern on the internet as a free pattern and I couldn't see like who had designed it or anything like that because it was just you know I printed it out from my computer and it was all small and blurry um, really pretty so so yeah so I printed this out right and it was free as I said um, I just had put in like free cross stitch pumpkin patterns and this is one of the things that came up but then as I was scrolling through one two three stitch trying to uh, get little small ornaments I came across this pattern and I'm like hmm that looks familiar so I don't know if it's exactly the same but it's similar enough that it made me feel like I stole something um, so I don't know if somebody put this, I haven't opened it, so I don't know exactly what the pattern looks like. Um, and I, as I said, it's not 100% the same as what I have, but this part down here seems pretty much the same. So I felt like I would have done something wrong. Um, 
you know, and it's not like I'm like super crazy about the copyright stuff, but um, I just, I felt it didn't feel right to me. And I kind of feel as somebody who has a YouTube channel and is talking to um, big amounts of people that I have an obligation to be as um, honest about this stuff as possible. So I felt, I felt like I had done something wrong and you know, I wasn't going to stop stitching it. I wasn't going to throw it away, but if it was stolen from this pattern, then I felt like I could rectify it by buying the pattern because now I own it and, um, I am legally allowed to stitch it even if I don't stitch it on this format. So anyway, so that's why I bought this. So now I have it. Um, and honestly, I don't know if I'm going to actually stitch this or I'm going to wait until I finish stitching, um, the filigree one, which will, I'll finish it next year. And then I'll give this away as a gift to somebody or if I'll stitch it again. I honestly, I don't know. Um, but I feel like now that I purchased it, I spent my, my $13 or whatever it is to get this pattern that I legally, um, am allowed to stitch the thing that I got for free on the internet because if it was stolen then um, I paid for it now to the people that I should pay for it pay pay yeah to the people that I should pay for it okay does that make sense um anyway so that's why I got this um and in fact I kind of think I'm just gonna stick this in that project bag and um and then when I finish it next year, then I'll, then I'll decide what I'm going to do with that. If I'm just going to hold on to it or give it away as a gift next year or whatever. Um, okay, so because I was getting that, I mean, you have to pay for shipping anyway. So I looked on the Mill Hill again to see if they had any of the um, ornaments that maybe weren't available last time I looked. And they did have this little love one, which is really cute. So that will um, go on my tree in February when it you know, when I get this stitched it will go on the next February and um, I've kind of gotten the habit now when I do go on one two three stitch I look in the fabric and see what's on clearance and there were two things on clearance that were things I would want and one is a 22 count heart anger and this is it's pale pink which I don't even think that you guys can see um, it's really pretty but it is very pale pink. And this is a 28 count Jobelin in terracotta. When I hold it up, it looks pinker than it is. It's kind of a true terracotta color. So that was my one, two, three stitch purchase. And I think that that is it. So plans that um, I have coming up, um, you know, Thanksgiving, obviously. And then um, next weekend after Thanksgiving, I will be uh, switching my seasonal tree from fall to my December, January theme. Um, and I as I've talked about, I have plans to do my uh, Hanukkah videos, which Hanukkah is from the 10th to the 18th this year of December. Um, so I'm going to try, um, I'm obviously going to film at night because you light the candles at night. So I'll try to upload that night after, um, after I do the filming. I have no idea how long these videos are going to be. Um, I think that they would be shorter than you know, a shorter video, a 10, 15 minute video, but I tend to talk a lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and light the candles with you guys. I'm going to, um, open something on camera for you to see. I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, and I got, um, a cool little box of Hanukkah <laughs> fortune cookies. There's eight fortune cookies in there. So I'm going to open a fortune cookie every night and, um, with you guys. So I don't know how long that will take. 10, 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Um, I will be in a different area. I'll be over there in my apartment where I keep my, where I put my Hanukkah candles. And, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. I hope that they're enjoyable to watch and, um, we'll see, I guess if, if they are, then I guess it will be a tradition that I'll try and do every year to, to let 
my candles with you guys. Um, I got a big box of candles and um, because I wasn't sure what I had left over from last year and I have two menorahs so I'll tell you guys all about that when we get to the Hanukkah stuff. Um, but I did order a nice box of Hanukkah candles and um, yeah so I'm, I'm getting ready for that. And, um, oh, I, I got a huge stack of, um, these are tags. These are all like tags, YouTube tags for stitch, uh, for me to do stitch with me. Cause, um, I've done a couple of them and, um, they're fun to do. And I think it's great to do a tag with a, with a stitch with me or a craft with me or a bead with me or whatever I happen to be doing that day. Um, so uh, I got enough so I could do at least one a month and so I'm gonna try and start incorporating that a little bit more into my channel people seem to like them um, I'm gonna continue doing my tasting boxes so um, I think the one that comes in December is not like a single uh, country it is um, from all over so that will be kind of fun I did have a viewer contact me from New Zealand, uh, Tanya, I think her name is. I want to say Tanya. <laughs> um, and she said she was going to send me a package from New Zealand. So who knows when that's going to show up because, you know, mail from across the world sometimes will be slow. But if I do get that package from her, um, then I'll do a, a separate tasting, a New Zealand tasting based on a, a care package that was sent to me. So that will be fun too. And, um, I have, uh, I will do a whip parade before the end of the year, definitely. Um, partly, I love whip parades, so, you know, I want to do one. And I did do one last year, so I think it'll be fun for me personally to have, um, to be able to go back and see, like, have my whips changed and which whips are gone and which whips are still there and, you know, that kind of thing. So I will be doing a whip parade before the end of the year. And then I'm going on vacation with my family up to the mountains and we're hoping for snow um, at the very end of the year. And um, I'm going to try and do like a vlog video that week. Um, I was going to do it when we went to Palm Springs as well. And I didn't touch my phone as far as as um, plus two. But hopefully this vacation I'll be able to be a little bit better about that and make um, an effort to do little clips that I can then put together. To share my my vacation with you guys um and then the only other thing that i need to think about is if i'm gonna do like a new start for the new year and uh if i do do that what should i do um i kind of feel like you know like a new start should be something somewhat significant i don't know um i have a lot of whips already that are kind of big projects so i don't know if that is something but I, but you know you kind of want to do like something that then you'll remember that I started this on New Year's like I know I started um, Village Bookstore on New Year's this year I, I worked on it a little bit at the very beginning of the year and I haven't worked on it um, so that's something I need to get back to again it's just so big that I haven't found a comfortable way to stitch on it yet and that's what I need to figure out um, and it just hasn't been a priority but I definitely think that I want to have some kind of a new start um, on New Year's. So I'll have to think about that. It might be one of my County Canvas pieces because um, I don't have any of those on the go now since I finished my cube, which is up there, right there. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's, so that's something I have to think about is, uh, is what, what counted Canvas piece or what cross stitch piece I'm going to start for the new year and um yeah I think that's about it as far as as plans coming up you know things I need to think about I need to decide if I'm going to do my February uh uh sal again I mean last year it was uh, be my own valentine sal and that's what I did for that one and I really liked that sal and the idea behind it but I don't, I don't know maybe I'll do a different valentine maybe I'll just do be my own valentine with a be instead of a bee -E, and do some kind of project that has to do with hearts and flowers or something so who knows um 
you know, as I've said before, I make plans and then I change the plans and then I make new plans and that's how it goes. So anyway, I'm getting kind of rambly, which means I should probably sign, to, sign off. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. However you're able to celebrate it this year, if you are not able to go and spend time with any kind of friend or family, um, then my heart is with you and I hope that you're able to Zoom or something, you know, be able to connect with people. Um, and you know send me a message if you if you are feeling a little bit alone send me a message and i will i will send you one back because you're not alone and um we're all kind of in this together <laughs> this year and uh but i hope you have a wonderful a wonderful time with your small household with your little pod with whatever with your cat with your dog um whoever you're spending time with so Thank you guys so much for supporting me and being with me every week on my channel. Um, and until I see you again next week, have a happy Thanksgiving. And please remember to be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla. Bye-bye.